state of Alabama ought to be ashamed of herself. You ought to be ashamed. Go look in the mirror. You ought to be ashamed. You ought to be ashamed. This bill is not about pro-life or the right to life. This bill is about control. It's a sad day in Alabama, man. I feel like crying for real. You will be telling your wives, your daughters, your granddaughters that you don't value the worth of women, regardless of how educated, how sound of mind, how competent, how knowledgeable. We don't trust you to make a decision that is the most personal and precious decision about your own body. Do you know what it's like to be raped? No, ma'am, I don't. Do you know what it's like to have a relative commit incest on you? On me, no, ma'am. Yes, on you. Okay. So that's one of those traumas that a person experiences. Why would you not want a woman to at least have that exception for such a horrific act? Because I believe that when that unborn child becomes a person, and we need legal guidance on when that is. But that's not your business. That is not your business. You don't have to raise that child. You don't have to carry that child. You don't have to provide for that child. You don't have to do anything for that child. But yet, you want to make the decision for that woman that that's what she has to do. It's what you just said to my little girl. That it's okay for a man to rape you. And you got to have his baby if you get pregnant. You just said to my little girl, my little loving little daughter. You just said to my daughter, you don't matter. You don't matter in the state of Alabama. That the state of Alabama don't care nothing about you, baby. I gotta go home and tell her, the state of Alabama don't care nothing about you, baby. That you can just be raped or one of your uncles or your cousin or somebody could just rape you and impregnate you and you got to carry this baby under Alabama law. Republicans, you y'all, you guys used to say we want the government out of our life. We want them out of our business. We want them out of our bedroom. Now you're in my womb. I want you out. You don't control this. You don't own this. I'd like to be able to just open up your minds and just see what's inside. I really would. I know God made women different. He really did. You all came from a woman. Did you not get anything from her? You can't get pregnant. You've never been pregnant. You don't know what it's like to be pregnant. You don't know what a woman goes through when she's pregnant. Well, it takes two. I don't have to tell you that. The choice of two people. Yes, it takes, exactly. It's the choice of two people. That's right. But it seems like only one is being thrown under the bus here. I would just like to ask you not to sign this bill. Think about what you're doing to mothers. Think about what you're doing to babies that could be raped. Think about what you're doing to, to just women in their reproductive health in your state. We're talking about an abortion issue, which is an issue of choice. What about the next issue? Are you gonna take another right away from me to choose about something that I ought to be able to decide for myself?